What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with some more Don Machi. Feels great saying that. Today we're doing Season 4, Episode 1. Now, before we get into anything, I do want to let some of you guys know, because some of you guys are aware, some of you aren't, with the first and last episode of every season of every show on the channel, the full-length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description, get that free full length, enjoy that, come back here for the review when you're done. If you do enjoy that and want to keep that for the rest of the shows and every other episode in the future, consider checking out that Patreon. Great benefits, great time, great community. Uh, I, it has been a very long time since i watched don machi so i did end up watching a couple of recaps i wish i could have watched rewatched the entire show again i just like i'm like oh my god wait today's don machi day and it literally came out of nowhere like time has been absolutely soaring so with that being said season three ended off beautifully i rewatched that asterius and bell fight so if i forget anything or if it takes me a little bit to give, oh yeah i forgot that happened please bear with me just for a little bit guys you guys know how Sometimes these slow gears in his brain takes a little bit to start chugging away. I appreciate you guys. You guys are always cool about it. I say we not waste any more time. Let's hop right on into it. Make sure to leave a like if you're excited. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, Don Machi, season four, episode one. This one is called The Prelude, The Night Before Departure. So this is a setup episode, but we're getting there. We're going to get crazy. Do you guys know? Whether it's the manga or the light light novel, I don't know what this story is based off of. Do you guys know how much content do they have left? It could be could it be like three more seasons, couple more seasons? I love the way it's like a 3D text that goes, you know. Yeah, so we're level four now. Season four. I'm ready. I am Oh, Fells. I was like, who the hell is speaking like this? We're still in the aftermath of all that. Oh my lord. I mean, we know Asterius is down there training right now. On the bottom, a covenant that was formed in a conclusion. Aina's the goat. Aina is very popular right now. These guys are funny. And of course, she wants the, the one and only true main character. Lil Rookie. Belle. A direct, uh, an official one, not just Oranos. New equipment, wealth is the goat. Ooh, look at those hard-working hands. I only hear Reiner when I hear him speak now. And like Kunikita. Of course Bell does. He always wants to go beyond plus ultra. Okay, Take and Miyak. Take and Mikazuchi. I'm assuming Uka, Chigusa. I'm gonna have the whole squad. In terms of, yeah... In terms of our allies, they're easily the best. Yup. Yes, sir. Mikoto coming over to get the squad. Okay, Take Mikazuchi. Let's see it. Cassandra, Daphne. Okay. I'm assuming Naza's staying here. Hell yeah, that's our waifu. Absolutely, ma'am. You are always welcome. Right? So we're going to try to go beyond where we normally can go. I completely forgot Lily Rook is still level 1. Because even Wealth is level 2 now, right? Okay. Hell yeah, always needed. Very important. I firmly agree. Someone with an outside perspective, not tunnel vision on current goals. Oh yeah. 
Finn's the one of the greatest at that role too. Mm. <laughs> In terms of sneaking, doing these crazy little plays, Lily Ruka is really good at this kind of shit. That was a good little, that was a good little confidence booster for her. She needed that. Shouts out Daphne. Ooh, Take Mikazuchi looking ripped. I agree. Some people do put too much emphasis on their numbers, you know. I agree. Okay, Take. But as your mastery of these techniques increase and your level status and just base stats, you are going to be skyrocketing. Okay. Shouts out Taka and Mikazuchi. Just some random little training arc I was not expecting from Mikoto or Chigusa at all. Look at all that armor he is making. Goodness gracious. That's what I expected. Only go to the best of the best. Come on. I love the way they're animating these sparks in the background, this forge. <laughs> Give me the homie hookup. Come on. <laughs> They're so serious. Aisha in a secure, closed up room. I can, uh, yeah. But her yo jutsu is so nice, like her supportness, you know? Not if you have a grimoire. Okay, Belle. What is she gonna start? Fire bolt! Fire bolt! Ooh, the first of the lower floors. Oh, that's where we're starting, the Great Falls. It's our first goal. Gives me such Maiden Abyss vibes going down, exploring new areas, you know? Crazy to think how my boy Belle has a literal harem of women. Look at her, just smitten. This area looks dope. Shouts out, Aina. We need more women like this. Supporting her men. Estio can feel it, that's so funny. And dignified young man. She is not wrong, and we wouldn't be this way without you. Hestia bestia. <laughs> and I love how, compared to girls like Aina and Eyes, who are a little more low-key about their feelings and their crushes, you know, Hestia is willing to declare it to the whole world. So I love her. Heck yeah. This, don't get me wrong, it's not like Maiden Abyss or Attack on Titan where I'm expecting that level of darkness, sadness. Kanpai! But I definitely, this is way too happy. Like, we're getting into there, this is the prelude, don't get me wrong. But in the next two or three episodes, count my words. Some dark, sad shit's gonna happen. What's going on, Cassandra? What dream did you have? Oh, see? Talk about what I'm talking about. That sounds horribly scary. Is that Uka's new axe? Oh my god! I would take that in a heartbeat! That is a weapon right there, holy... I must agree! Bell obviously with his daggers, you know. Hakugan, unicorn horn. Okay, Hakugan. Hell yeah. I love how some of our Isekai main characters like Kazuma, 
Bell are more like rogue style fighters than like Uka, who's like a berserk, you know? Like, I do like how they use the daggers. They're more quick with it. Don't end right here, right? Like, I was about to say, we... we're about to end right here. This was really a prelude. Damn it. I got to wait a whole nother week. Okay. Okay, Daphne. Okay, wealth with the shield. My boy. The level fours of the group. Oh my god, that fucking Hakugen going ham. Fire bolt! Oh my god. Level four fire bolt looks pretty damn amazing. That was way too badass. We're gonna have some crazy shenanigans this season. Look at the score. Damn it, man. Did I not say we're gonna have fucking darkness? There's no way that's mysterious, right? I see two horns, but. I seriously only has one arm. Oh my, what the fuck? Talk about an episode to get me back into the Don Machi vibes. That felt exactly like where we left off. Oh, it felt so much like Don Machi. So great to get back into those upbeat vibes, but still have an under, like a, a looming darkness in the background that you know is coming. Hestia, bestia, like always. Takemikazuchi, Miyok, coming in clutch with the squad. I, I love so much how much of an alliance we built with our familias over these uh, three seasons. Same with Hephaestus, but hers is more like a you know like you scratch my back i scratch like like don't get me wrong Festus is the goat but it's not like miyak or takemikazuchi like i love takemikazuchi as well training mikoto chigusa uka coming to well for a, a new weapon because he wants to protect his own just like everyone else is protecting their own i love how bell just ranked up still not even i mean he's close but he's he's four you still got to get to five then we get to our loki's familia that then we get to otaro so it's like we have a long way to go very excited but level four huge improvement for him uh, like they said i'm pretty sure it's just him and aisha that are the only level fours of this group but so like with a squad this size i'm over here like oh you know i'm a little nervous but not so nervous because they're going into the lower floors but then you look at the loki familia who yes they did go to floor 59 with a bunch of level, but like they're all gods so it's like this is going to be actually quite difficult Especially with that little tease at the end there. I assume it's Asterius, even though I really don't think it is. I think he's going to be, like, not our villain, at least in the first part of the season. Like, if he is the villain of the season, I would assume it's the end of the season. Like, we're kind of we're going to have our rematch. But, I don't know, man. I am excited. I know darkness is coming. I know it's going to be insane. I, like I said, this brought me back pure Don Machi vibes. Oh, it felt so much like Don Machi. Loved it to death. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. All that jazz. Check out that Patreon full length for the rest of the episodes. Early access to full length for the other shows I'm watching. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.